Hello and welcome to Total IELTS and in today's lesson I'll be looking at IELTS writing task 2 that's planning your answer. I'll be looking at why planning is essential for success and a five-step approach for answering task 2. Now planning your answer is often a sensitive topic for many students and when they're asked about this, they often reply, oh no, I don't have time, I only got 40 minutes, or I need to get something down on paper, I don't have time for this. However, not planning your answer is like building your house on sand without a strong foundation. So let's look at a five-step approach for task two. Step one is analyzing the question and writing the introduction. This should take no longer than five minutes. Second, plan the body paragraphs. Again, this should take five minutes. Number three, write the body paragraphs based on the plan from step two. This should take 20 minutes. Then write your conclusion, five minutes, and a final check of another five minutes and this is a total of 40 minutes. Let's begin with step one, analyzing the question. Now this question type, discuss both these views and give your own opinion, I believe is one of the more challenging task two types. When you analyze the question, highlight the key words. So we have both viewpoints here. First viewpoint is that global warming is the most critical environmental problem, while others believe overpopulation has a more devastating impact. And don't forget, of course, include your own opinion. And let's remind ourselves of the structure of this essay type. This is a five paragraph answer introduction where you paraphrase the statement and write a thesis statement two is one point of view three the other point of view four your opinion and five the conclusion so step one analyzing the question you finish that then you need to write your introduction and you will paraphrase the statement and write your own thesis statement Writing introductions I will look at in detail in a separate video. So after the introduction, step two is planning your body paragraphs. Here you need to generate some ideas. You need to think of some reasons and put them on paper. Now you can plan your body paragraphs on the question paper. Now when it comes to planning for this particular type of task, you should think of one maximum two ideas for each viewpoint and your own. So then when you plan, write prompts, not full sentences, and begin by asking yourself, why do some people believe that global warming is the most serious environmental problem? For example, one of the reasons could be is that it causes climate change. And supporting evidence for this could be rising sea levels. In paragraph three, again, ask yourself, why do people believe overpopulation is the most serious problem? One reason for this could be the earth has limited resources. And supporting evidence could be the limited food supply. For paragraph four, this is your own opinion. Now you can either agree with one or both of the opinions from the statement, but if you do so, you need to give different reasons and supporting evidence. Alternatively, you can give a different idea for what you believe is the most crucial environmental problem and back this up with a reason and supporting evidence. So in step three, you should write your body paragraphs. 
Try to stick to your plan. You already have your foundation for your answer. If you change your mind, this will really eat up a lot of your time. When you write your body paragraphs, always begin with a topic sentence. That's the main reason for that particular viewpoint and backed up with supporting evidence, knowledge, experience, and giving examples. Writing body paragraphs, I will look at in detail in a separate lesson. And then write your conclusion in step four. And your conclusion should contain no new ideas and simply a summary of both viewpoints and your own opinion. And step five is your final check. Now, when you do this, only check for grammar, punctuation, and spelling. Never try to rewrite the body paragraphs. You just don't have time. So in summary, planning your answer will manage your time a lot more effectively and organize your ideas. It will also keep you on topic and ultimately enable you to address all parts of the task. And here is a summary of the five-step approach for answering task two.